So today we will see how to do breadth first traversal, breadth first traversal in graphs. We will see time complexity with adjacency matrix and adjacency list also. Right. So let's continue. So hello. Today we will discuss breadth first traversal. So I have taken a graph. Breadth first traversal on graph. I am going to explain. So I have taken a graph and I am going to explain how BFT algorithm works. So I have taken one array that is visited array and the data structure used in it is Q. In breadth first traversal, data structure used is Q, right? So Q is having a property. We can have front pointer and rear, right? So exit is being done from front insertion is being done in rear right so that's how q works right so i am taking a q right and first of all i will make all the entries in visited array visited array is having count as the number of nodes in the graph like a b c d e f g h i so all these nodes a b c d e f g h i j Right. So if you want, you can, I can write it as index of array as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 means I have 10 elements, 10 nodes in the graph. Right. So to make you like familiar, familiar with it, I have just named it as ABCD. Otherwise you can number it and write the number here. Right. So to represent everything is not visited. What I will do, I will, the thing which is not visited, I will give it value it as zero so the things which are not visited is having value as zero right now whenever i visit the value i will make the uh, i will change the value whenever i visit the node i will change the value from zero to one right say say we are starting traversal from a right from this point if we are starting traversal first we'll go to visited array right we'll see whether a has been visited in the visited array or not right so if we find value as zero we'll change the value as one and let's say a has been visited right now when a is being visited what i will do i will put adjacent of a adjacent of a inside the queue right so the condition being to put them inside the queue is first we'll see what are the adjacent of a that are C and B in any order you can take right so now a has been visited a will get popped out I will just pop out a right means pop out means from front I will take out and from rare right from rare from this side I will put C and B in the queue before putting them into the queue first of all, I will check the status so since I know C and B now they are being visited so i have changed the status as one so if the status in the visited array was one i will not put them in the queue but as we can see this they both of them has not been visited that's why i have kept c and b in the queue now i will take c is adjacent right so the condition of being being keeping the adjacent in the queue is first you can pop out c right now adjacent of c what are the adjacent of C? Adjacent of C in graph are G and D. G and D. Now check whether G and B, D are B, being visited. G is not visited. Make it visited. And 1. So B is from earlier. So now G. And then we will check D. Now G, D is also have been visited. Put it as 1. So this is how it will go inside the queue. Now similarly, I will check the adjacent of b right adjacent of b so when we check adjacent we will pop out that value right now adjacent of b r right so g and d are already there adjacent of b r let's check in the graph e and f these two are adjacent of b so e and f now check e is not visited make it visited and put in here f is not visited make it visited and put in here right so adjacent of b were e and f to for our reference i am writing them here right now 
we'll go in next step and check adjacent of g right so when we check adjacent i will pop out g right so adjacent of g are c and h so i will just write c and h now in this array visited array, visited array we will see where are c and h right so c is already being visited the value which has already been visited will not go into the queue so that's why i'll put d e f now c will not come because it is already being visited right now we'll check whether h no h has not visited i will make it as one i'll visit h right now adjacent of d will check adjacent of d right so we'll pop out d adjacent of d are h and c h and c right means c and h we'll check in adjacent adjacent visited array h and c are already visited so nothing will be there will be done so we'll move in next step so now next step is e f and h right so now i will check what are the adjacent of f e adjacent of e are adjacent of e in graph are the adjacent are b and i right b and i so we will see this array b is already being visited i is not visited i will make it as one and now i will pop out e i'll just write here i'll pop out e and f h i since we push things from rear right now i'll check adjacent of f adjacent of f means f will come out and adjacent of f are adjacent of f in the graph are b and i b and i so b and i are already being visited so nothing will happen now i will check h and i so we will check adjacent of h so now adjacent of h are g d j adjacent of h r g d j so g is already being visited d is already being visited j i will visit it right put in q right h is being pop out i and j will get pushed in right so since now i will see my visited array is finished right so we will we can directly put the values in the q as out out to value i and j right so the best the bft breadth first traversal will be a c b g d e f h i and j this is the breadth first traversal of this example right so if you notice you can see it it goes like this also actually if you notice we can see this traversal right this traversal will behave something like this you see a then c b right then g d e f g d e f h i and j right means breadth wise it is going from left to right so that's how it is named as breadth first traversal right so we'll quickly see how depth first traversal also work but first first thing we need to remember the data structure in best first tra traversal is used as q this has been asked many times in the gate what is the data structure is used so now i will write some points to remember points to remember for breadth first traversal this bft which we have already seen first data structure used in bft is q right second point is breadth first traversal is also called level order traversal level order traversal 
से वी वॉन्ट टू जज अबाउट द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सी वी कैन स्टोर ग्राफ्स इन द मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म राइट और एडजेसेंसिलिस्ट फॉर्म राइट इन द सिस्टम राइट सो से इफ वी आर स्टोरिंग दिस ग्राफ इज द मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म राइट से इफ आई एम टेकिंग थ्री वैल्यूज वन टू एंड थ्री राइट ग्राफ सो आई विल स्टोर इट एज वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री राइट सो द वैल्यूज विच आर हैविंग एज इन बिटवीन दैम से इफ वी हैव वन एंड टू इज हैविंग एज देन आई विल पुट वन वैल्यू एज वन वन एंड थ्री इज हैविंग एज विल पुट वैल्यू एज वन अदरवाइज विल पुट एज जीरो राइट सो दिस इज हाउ वी फील वैल्यूज राइट इन द एडजेंसी मैट्रिक्स सो से इफ आई एम स्टोरिंग दिस ग्राफ एज एडजेंसी मैट्रिक्स सो वट विल हैपन इज वेन एवर आई विजिट राइट वेन एवर आई विजिट ए नोड and then i will see the adjacent of the node right so i have to traverse in fact ev for every node every value i have to traverse right so for adjacency matrix the complexity of breadth first traversal will come as order of v square means number of vertices right the number of v represent here vertices right vertices because for every node or every vertices i have to visit almost right order of v square means max i have to visit each and every but say if i am using adjacency list right so what i will do for for a, every list what I, how we will make if one is the node name so the connection which is having that will store in the form of list 3 and 2 right adjacency list form right if 2 is having link so 2 is having link with 1 right similarly if 3 so 3 is having linked with 1 right as a node right so this is how adjacency list is being represented so what is the benefit of it the benefit of it is whenever we visit one right so this is almost telling you the degree right so these are this time here we will visiting all the vertices this is all the degrees so all the degrees are two type of e two time e right these are discrete mathematics theorems actually of graphs right so hence when we are storing the graph as adjacency list so the time complexity in adjacency list form will be order of v plus e instead of writing 2e i am writing v plus e right so these are basic and most important points right these have been asked in many times in gate also right so minimum time complexity is this right if you are using matrix form then time complexity is order of v square right so this is how we use breadth first traversal right if you want more example to understand it please uh, do message right do comment i will put more examples also for bft